Good afternoon, everyone. It's your correspondent, Alan Taylor. Yes, we're here yet again. I have a story out of uh, Florida via Alabama, too. Um, yeah, a college student was shot and killed in Alabama. Uh, he stopped to help a, uh, uh, some young woman that was, you know, claiming she needed help. And the woman ended up killing the young man. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. But let's uh, let's check it out. Here we go. Protecting his girlfriend while visiting a state park in Alabama. Deputies there say the couple was robbed at gunpoint and then the shooting. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte spoke with the girlfriend today. His girlfriend wasn't ready to speak on camera, but I talked with her outside of her house today, and it was truly just heartbreaking. This is fair use, by the way. Story, and she describes her boyfriend as her hero who died to protect her life. Keep you with me. Oh, yeah. All right. Put that music out. But yeah, that's a shame that um, you can't even really just stop to help people anymore. Uh, if it's if it's truly getting that way, that that is a serious issue, you know. Because yeah, I mean everybody, you know, may end up needing help at some point. It's it's crazy. They were held at gunpoint Sunday morning at Cheha State Park in Alabama. Adam was shot and killed. Michaela tells me they've been together for four years and loved hiking. They were on a trip just before the two UCF students were supposed to return to campus Monday. Michaela tells me while hiking, they saw someone waving their hands on a National Forest Service road at the park, claiming they had car trouble. She said they went over to try to help fix the car, but then the woman turned on them, pulling out a gun and started asking for money and their bank account numbers. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. Uh, that's 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 truly crazy. That is truly crazy. You know, you want to still have faith in in people in the world and stuff like that. That you know, you be able to uh, you know help people out and do the right thing. You know, by people and, and try to you know be there when you know other other human beings need help. But you know, calling it now, the way things are going, it, it's seeming so crazy. Um, it's just, it, it's just truly out of the way that, you know, individuals, you know, would, would actually do this if you, <clears throat> you know, truly set up, truly a set up. I mean, truly a set up, you know, it's dangerous out here. Protect yourself at all times, people, you know, uh, I, I hate to say it, but I kind of need to like, you know, maybe people shouldn't stop to help people anymore. You know, and I hate that is I hate that. I hate that with with like a serious passion. But, you know, nowadays with the way things are going, you need to think about your loved ones first. People that truly depend upon you and things like that. You know, you I, I hate it, though, but. Man, God. Michaela says the woman shot Adam in the stomach area, and Adam shot that woman in the leg, hurting her badly. She said Adam had a gun in his waistband that he took while they were hiking. Michaela. At least he was smart enough to take a gun with him. You know, for real though, because that really, that really did uh, stop stop the other chick. You know, stop this chick from doing anything else. You know, by her being shot too. You know, for real though says Adam stopped the gunman from hurting her, saving her life. This is a picture of another woman accused of being involved in the robbery. She ran off after the shooting but has since been arrested by the sheriff's office in Alabama. The shooter survived and was airlifted to the hospital. Michaela tells me she took off her shirt and was holding it against his stomach to try to stop the bleeding, but said it took a little bit for paramedics to get there because they were deep in the woods and it was just too late. Man, golly, man. Wow. You can't even stop to help people no more. This is, this is getting very sick out here. Very sick to where you cannot be just a... a just a basic decent human being and try to help people that you feel like are actually in dire need of your help it, it, it. my goodness man my goodness man
you know but hey though i'm saying it now you know watch out for yourself watch out for yourself out there because you know you especially your family your loved ones they need you you know i'm pretty sure this young man got family that really probably you know need and want him here alive and now this has happened and this young man is no longer here because he was trying to be helpful that's it they were trying to do the right thing and be and be helpful to somebody they felt like actually needed help you know and that's that's a hard pill to swallow man when you when you try to help somebody uh your loved one and died because they tried to actually help somebody and the person that they was trying to help ended up taking their life that's a hard pill to swallow that that just man my goodness my goodness where are we going where are we going is is you know humanity where are we going but that's what's up that's what's going down you guys watch your back out there i'll be your correspondent alan taylor this is the bottom line news and that my friends is the bottom line